Look what we're doing today. Oh boy. Okay, these, this is an amazing crayfish. Yay. Okay, you know, preserved animals never look as good as the real thing. So you can find these delicious crayfish in your local Ralph's or Albertsons. Uh, they sell them in the meat market. So I want you to go out there and I want you to find them and buy a couple. They're cheap. They're like less than a dollar um, because people are usually eating them. And the part that you eat is just this tail back here. And so you have to eat a whole bunch of them to eat them. Uh, but they sell them and they're already cooked. So that's not perfect, but you can still see all of these structures. And so it's so much fun. So go get your own crayfish. Pause the video and then come back and we will do external anatomy and then we'll dissect it and do internal anatomy. Oh boy. Okay, so this guy, well, is it a guy? I don't know. So we kind of have to look at him. We have to turn him over to know if it's a girl or a boy. We're gonna learn all this anatomy. What's the name of everything? All right, so this specimen is preserved and it makes them a little bit stiffer than they're supposed to be. All right, so let's go start way at the tail. Make sure we're focused. Okay, so the tail, we have these appendages here on each side. See how they kind of, zoop, there we go. Okay, those are the uropods. And the one in the middle is the telson. The anus is right about there. Okay, that's the anus. Then as we move up here, these appendages are called the swimmerettes. Aren't they cute? The swimmerettes. Sounds like a uh, synchronized swim team, swimmerettes. And then on males, their first pair of swimmerettes are stiffened. So this, it's a boy, okay? Because his swimmerettes look like that. What's a girl look like, you say? Oh, I happen to have one right here. Okay, so here's a girl. Look, it, the size, size doesn't matter. Uh, that doesn't distinguish the sex. It just depends on how old the crayfish was when it died. All right, so here's our Europods. Here is the Telson. And can you see what I'm talking about? Okay, let's zoom in on that because... Focus. There we go. Okay, because this, we can see the anus right there. Okay, then we have the swimmerettes, swimmerettes, swimmerettes. And so see, first pair of swimmerettes look like all the other swimmerettes. Where in the male, the first swimmerettes are stiff. And then on the female, there's also this structure here called the genital pore, where he is gonna put sperm right in there, okay? Now, we got more legs, right? So then these legs, these appendages, are all called walking legs because they walk with them. How convenient is that? And then the first pair of walking legs have a chilliped, the pincher. Oh, I can't pinch with it. But look at those mo monsters, <clears throat> okay? So male and female both have pinchers. Sometimes one gets broken off. Sometimes one's larger than the other. Those are the chilipeds. Okay, so now let's turn them over. Okay, so now we have antenna, the big ones, and antennules, the little ones. I see some eyes. The rostrum is kind of his nose. I need my pointer again. So this is the rostrum right here. And the carapace, all surrounded by that wonderful exoskeleton. Oh, could you guys see that? It was a little zoomed in. Sorry, let me zoom out just a little bit again. Oh, not, don't get crazy. We want to be able to see stuff. Okay, carapace, rostrum, antenna, antennules. Okay, and then abdomen, and everything's covered in that exoskeleton, and there's the telson again. All right, so... We got legs. I missed some legs. We have maxillipeds and maxillas and jaw. So let's get all these walking legs out of the way. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of push them back. And this is why you will want your own uh, crayfish. And you're like, I can't get a crayfish. How about a lobster? Oh, more expensive, but tasty. And they have legs too. All right, so that's, who knows what that is. All right, so we're, Looks like it's got some extra little food that it was playing with. All right, I need to zoom in here. Zoom, 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 zoom. Focus. All right. So see what I've got? I'm pushing all his legs out of the way. And I have these legs now up in here. 
and there are several of them. And the legs go, the jaw, the mouth is deep inside of here. I need to orient. Okay, Mr. Leg, you're just getting in my way. Tuck him behind his head. There we go. All right, so what's going on? The, so, so these are all legs here. So one of the things I want you to do, and I always make you do it in lab, is to distinguish these, all these different legs that are found here. So these are decapods, which just mean that they have 10, excuse me, 10 walking legs, five pairs of walking legs. All right, so let's see if I can see it. So right, oh my goodness, I'm out of focus there. There we go, I apologize. Right there is the jaw. Okay, do you see it? And then I have all these legs between the walking legs and the jaw. So I usually do it one at a time. And see how when I wiggle this leg, it's the easiest one, it's the first one. This little piece moves too. I'm gonna grab with my tweezers and I'm gonna pull gently but firmly. Pull it off. That is the third maxilliped. Then I'm gonna have the second maxilliped. The second maxilliped, I see I kind of get in there and I wiggle them back and forth. I'm gonna make sure I stay in my, okay, so I'm gonna reach in there with my tweezers down towards the bottom. Ugh. The second maxilliped. I like the second maxilliped because it looks to me like a club. It's not a perfect club. Like I can't see it at all, Clark. Sorry. My thumb? Okay, there it is. Focus. There it is. So see how it kind of goes chink, chink, that little, that's the club. But this whole thing is the second maxilliped. This one here is the third maxilliped. All right, the first maxilliped. Now I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna grab everything I can between what I've done and the jaw. And let's see what I have. I am in search of the first and second maxilla and the first maxilliped. Okay, my fingers are too big with these gloves on. So there's my first maxilliped second maxilliped, third maxilliped, and then, oh, I got them all. I'm so lucky. Look at this. Okay, then I have the first maxilla and the second maxilla. There's only two. There, I can separate them. <gasps> Look how cool that is. All of these legs appendages, okay? First maxilla, second maxilla, first maxilliped, second maxilliped, third maxilliped are all found. I'm gonna take them off. between the walking legs and the jaw.